Hey, what's up guys? Just a quick video today. Apparently, uh, PSO2 works with my XSplit program now, which is, uh, really weird. I don't know what they changed, but I'm looking for some input here. Uh, I would like to know when you guys would like to have the, uh, combo-thon. Uh, obviously, uh, pretty much any time is good for me, but I'm kind of trying to, uh, get it done, you know, as soon as possible, because, uh, Common Rider is going to be coming out at the end of February, and, uh, I want to give myself some leeway, uh, a friend of mine in the community, um, he offered to help me, you know, I guess he works at GameStop, he offered to help me get one, a PS4 for, uh, cheaper, I think he said it would probably be about $250, uh, including shipping or whatever else, I'll just pay out of my pocket. Um, I would do it next week, but uh, the problem is AGDQ is going to be on. And uh, obviously, you know, I am a speedrunner, but I'm <laughs> what you would call a casual, sporadic speedrunner. Uh, it's not really my main focus. I do it every now and then when there's a game I really like that, uh, you know, I actually want to get a decent time on. <laughs> but uh, it's obviously, you know, judging by, you know, the kind of content that I put up, it's not something I do all the time, but uh, I think it would be an issue uh, if I do it during the week of GDQ regardless, <laughs> simply because everybody's going to be watching it. Uh, if you've ever been on, like, speedrun.com or speedruns live uh, during, like, a GDQ event, a GDQ or SGDQ, like, <laughs> pretty much hardly anyone is streaming. Like, everybody is pretty much hosting the event, which is good, you know, it helps bring in more money for charity, but <laughs> in terms of, like, variety of things to watch you know sometimes they have stuff on there that's really boring <laughs> depending on what your taste in games is uh, I'm not really big on RPG speed runs you know I can watch like a tail speed run or like Valkyrie profile or something because those are relatively short and uh, there's not a whole lot of cutscene mashing or anything like that but uh, you know regardless of what you like like there's always really long stretches of time where there's just like nothing on there that's interesting so uh, I was thinking it, it may be a good idea it may not be uh, I'm looking for a little feedback here uh, in terms of the actual marathon I have done some more thought uh, into it and some more planning looks like I'll be doing some speed runs uh, I'll probably be doing uh, some of this game uh, I don't think I'll be doing DFO because uh, they haven't put out the update yet and it got pushed back to the 19th uh, I guess it depends on when I start the marathon I will be doing uh, viewer requests uh, if you help me out, you know, you can request something, uh, you know, within my library, you know, within the <laughs> restrictions of what I have. Uh, you know, I have a pretty large selection of games, uh, maybe not as big as some people, but, <laughs> uh, you know, I feature so many games on here, and uh, unfortunately, sometimes I get burnt out, and uh, I don't really give them much attention anymore, so I was thinking of doing stuff like that, uh, you know, otherwise just games I haven't featured on the channel at all. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to see. In terms of this game, I came back and uh, <laughs> I left a bunch of items in my shop and I haven't played this game for about two months and uh, I managed to sell about seven million worth of uh, items, which is pretty crazy. I haven't touched this game in a long time. Uh, the main issue right now is I have like no storage uh, without paying for premium and uh, they haven't put in the character storage feature yet. The character st storage feature is uh, supposed to fix one of the biggest problems with this game that I've always had uh, ever since it was in like closed beta which is you can't really get any permanent extra storage without paying for it or renting it out which uh, if you've ever played this game uh, it's actually beneficial to keep a bunch of trash around uh, depending on what's going on as there are certain seasonal abilities that you can get on uh, weapons or armor that you might want to save around you might want to keep them around until uh, after those items are out of rotation and you can make a profit that way um, if you have you know certain items that you want to fix you want to get them stronger it's actually nice to have a bunch of fodder in your storage you know right away instead of having to play the market or you know if the price goes up or down uh, you know you don't have to be victim to that and uh, it's always been an issue in this game like you can buy a premium which gives you like 300 slots but 300 slots is pretty much nothing uh, if you play more than one class in this game like you're, you're going to have a bunch of crap in your inventory and that's kind of the situation that I'm in right now I can actually show you guys like see right here my premium storage is about half full so if I decided to buy a premium, you know, I'd have like 150 items to work with. I have this extra storage here, which uh, I rented out for a month just because I had like absolutely no space. Like you look at my free storage, I have a whopping three slots full or empty. You have your OTP storage, but obviously uh, if you're not playing on a, you know, you're not like a native Japanese user, it's probably not a good idea to use that uh, if something happens to your account. 
Uh, what they're going to be doing is they're going to make it so you can just pay for extra storage on your character, uh, which is going to be nice for a lot of reasons. Uh, obviously, you'll be able to have more storage all the time instead of, you know, just when you're paying for premium. Premium in this game is worth it. Uh, they, they do give you a, a pretty healthy amount of advantages for playing. Uh, you know, it's only worth it though. You know, if you're actually going to play a lot throughout that month, like uh, you, you may remember, uh, I had a really long stretch of playing PSO2 on here. Uh, I bought Premium, you know, that month because <laughs> the bus was on strike here, and uh, it was pretty hard for me to get around, being as someone who didn't drive. So, uh, pretty much all I did was, you know, I went out to like do errands and stuff like that, and take walks and stuff. But I really didn't leave my direct vicinity. So I played this game like the whole month, and for like. Like 17 bucks it was worth it but you know if you've got other things to do other games to play or things outside of the gaming world to do it's really not worth you know stacking up tons of premium membership so I'm pretty excited for that uh, I believe it's supposed to be in the next update which is two weeks so maybe I'll play this a little more uh, right now my hands are kind of tied like I don't want to pay for a month on premium when I'm gonna be busy on DFO towards the end of January and uh, I don't have enough time to <laughs> devote to uh, two MMOs at once you know I can log on to this and do my dailies and stuff like that but uh, DFO is gonna take a bunch of time so let me know what you guys would like to see in the combo thon uh, I'll try to get some other stuff out uh, I have been pretty depressed <laughs> the past couple days and uh, it's the reason I've just been putting up random stuff like 20xx footage and things like that but uh, let me know what you guys want to see in the combo thon uh, let me know if you have a problem with it being during the week of AGDQ or if you think it would actually be beneficial one thing about AGDQ is uh, the chat is so bad, like the only way you can actually have a conversation during a GDQ event is if someone you know is hosting it, which uh, if you watch anybody, if you follow anybody who subscribes, like 90% of the people <laughs> that are hosting it, whether they're going or not, are going to be hosting GDQ anyway. That's like the only way you can have like a constructive, non-toxic conversation, so... <laughs> Uh, in my opinion, sometimes watching GDQ just on the VODs is better because you're not getting so much crap on the side of the screen. <laughs> uh, it's up to you guys. Uh, I'm more than open to doing it during GDQ, especially since I'm not going to be doing, I'm not going to be on 24/7. You know, I'll probably be on for like two, three, four hours a day tops. Um, let me know what you guys want, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow with some more substantial content. Peace.